Hello friends, I'm Larry with Rides Done Right, and I'm at the Northwest Rotorama. And my guest right now is Danny Olson. Got it right? That's right. How are we doing? You. Nice to meet you. How are you liking the show so far? Love it. How many times have you been? Are you a regular in this I'm a regular. Or? I've been here every year this show has been put on. And That's a while, isn't it? Uh, this particular show, it's four years, I believe. Okay. Great show. My first time. I'm, I'm pretty impressed. Excellent. It's a great facility. It's a clean facility, which in the past we've been in the Tacoma Dome, and that's a dirty facility to be a, having a car show. So this works great. Lighting's great. That's what I love in here. Is you yeah. can, it's lit really well, maybe too well for us in the show and how it's going to go. Who knows how it'll bleed out and stuff. Sure. But, uh, so you are a, a builder and an owner, and you've got, a, you've got multiple cars in the show. We're focusing on, on the blue truck that... It's kind of truck, kind of... That's a 1939 Ute, U-T-E. That stands for utility vehicle. It's an Australian car. And it was an original body that was imported into the United States, but it was in such a bad case of disrepair, we've replaced most of the body on the car with uh, fabricated steel. Uh, about the only piece that's left on that that's original is the back window, the, the frames of the window because that was too hard to replicate. So you, you bought it somewhere in poor condition as it was and said I'm gonna, that's gonna be the, the rig. Yeah, there was a, a lot of people brought in on that project to build it because the, the enormity of a build that long that took eight years, uh, we had to bring in specialized people. Uh, Ryan Butler, Butler Fabrications, he's one of the finest metal men in the, in the world and he's the one that fabricated that entire body as per the owner's specs body's beautiful I mean it, yeah. it, it it was a car walking in here that I went straight to was drawn to right off the bat it's funny how how much I seem to be drawn to, to pickups they kind of stand out in shows when you have really cool ones and this one particularly very different was very sure. unique. yeah if you were to look at pictures of that car as it was originally from the factory it's a total different vehicle now the owners uh, decided he wanted the windshield tilted back he wanted the back canopy tilted forward and a one-piece nose. So all those items were included in the bill. So even though it represents a 39 Ford, it's all made by us, oh, uh, you, fabricated. You can tell. The, the, the back end, tell me about, walk me through that whole back end, because it's finished way different than you're used to, I'm used to seeing in trucks. Well, uh, a utility vehicle in Australia is a passenger car front end, and it has a pickup bed in the back. And typically, the sheet metal is all one piece instead of a separate bed like you would have on a pickup here in the United States. And so that was, we fabricated that, again, as the owner specs wanted. So it was like a flatbed? You're not telling me it's a flatbed in the back, like a car in the front is a flatbed. No, they have a regular box so on it. So it had a box on them, but obviously yeah. like a box. And, and a, an original would have a uh, tailgate on it too. We didn't want a tailgate on this car. Yeah, good choice, because yeah. that is one of the features to me that that it just cleans up that whole back and, Certainly. and really makes it look good. Uh, so the the different folks involved in the build then, you know, what, what stories with everybody well, involved? Well, Ryan Butler did the initial metal work on it, and then we were hired to paint the car. Uh, that took us about two years, disassembling the car and then doing all the paint work. Again, using the owner's specs and the colors and the method he wanted it painted and how he wanted to incorporate the colors inside the car. So it, it was quite a deal. The unfortunate thing about this is uh, Ryan Butler uh, was killed before the car was done. He got killed in a hydroplane accident. So we then were hired to finish the truck. Ryan Butler was going to finish the truck after we painted it. Since I intimately knew the car and my shop knew the car, we were hired to finish it. That took us an additional two years. That car was done in 2012 and entered in competition and actually was a finalist for America's most beautiful street ride in 2012 at Good Guys Pleasanton, which is quite an honor and a tribute to Ryan Butler. And to yourself as well. Well, that's yeah, a, that's we, we'll effect. take some credit for it, but it's Ryan's vision that made the car look the way it is, and we just fine-tuned and finessed it. Oh, yeah, it's it's beautiful. And I, I do like the color. It's it's a, a unique color. You know, that's when you talk a uh, 2011 Porsche Panamera color. Now, you don't see... I wonder how... The, he just was fanning through the whole... Uh, the, the owner and... was intimately involved in the build from the beginning to the end. He dictated the colors and the choices of materials. He picked the color. We did test panels of several colors for him until he found what he wanted, and then we shot the car in that color. 
interior turned out really good. I like the color choice that you guys made. This it, it just seemed to go well with the truck. Who is the interior person on that? Well, there, there were several people involved in that. There's a lot of wood in the car because we wanted to tie in a little bit of a nautical theme. There again, the owner, Mike Holmes, uh, is into wooden boats, so the back hatch is wood. That was done at Stancraft in Coeur d'Alene. And then the uh, floor in the truck, in the, in the bed, is humped, and that allows for rear end travel to come up and down. Rather than raise the bed and leave it flat, we decided to arch it, and it gives a real nice touch in, the, in there to that. Oh, that's great. The yeah, floor, actually, the floors inside the car are wood also. So if you look in that car, you'd be amazed. We will see. be through the whole thing. Yeah. We're going to take photos and video of the, of the truck, so we'll yeah. be able to show that throughout. Yeah, the fl so the floors are wood, wood. And then when he drives the car, we have uh, mats that snap into place so you don't scratch the wood. And then as far as the rest of the interior, the leather work was done by Bob Jasper here in Tacoma. Bob has upholstered for me for 40 years in cars that we've built. I've known him for that long. He's a great upholsterer. At 78 years old, he's still doing stuff for me. I had him tied up the first four months of this year for cars for us. Don't and, you love that? Yeah. When people that are that are older are still in there doing. They love it. it. It's not like the love goes away. And if you can still pull off the work, then sure. you know, why not? You know, Bob's 78, and you know I'm no youngster myself at 65, but uh, I have no plans to desire or desire to quit and retire. I'll be doing this. You know, this is what I would do as a hobby. So there's no reason to quit. When I see what you're putting out, it seems like you're probably getting, you know, really getting in a roll with it anyway. So when you're when you're on yeah. it and, and churning out good stuff, you're not going to stop when the machine's yeah, I, running. I enjoy the process. You know, it, I enjoy from start to finish uh, taking a customer through a journey of what we're going to do. Uh, we'll start with illustrations. I'll have Jason Rushforth, uh, who owns Rushforth Wheels, and he's a wonderful graphic artist. He'll build us, uh, or he'll make us a photograph in color with proposed color schemes and design. You'd be surprised how often when the finished car is done, it's a co carbon copy of his illustration before anything was ever done. Oh, that's cool. I love hearing that because I do that kind of stuff. I mean, I'm a, I like drawing and I have some artistic stuff, probably along the lines of, of Kev Dog, but, uh, but it's something I've done my whole life. You know, your kids, you just... What are you doing in grade school? If you love cars, you're driving, you're oh, drawing cars. Same here, this me too. Yeah. I mean, to go from what we drew in school in kindergarten and first grade to this, it's a dream. I mean, you couldn't ask for anything better. Well, you know, it takes a lot of luck and it takes a lot of talent too. Absolutely. And you need the right people to help you and you need the business acumen, mm -hmm. which fortunately I had a business background before I started my business, so uh, I have never had an issue with that. So many businesses fail because they can't manage their taxes or manage their employees. And uh, we've done great for 35 years. Uh, I have a backlog of work, and I've got probably another 10 if I want to keep going. Well, based on what I'm seeing, you'll be around for a while. Thanks Thank so you much. Very much. We'll see you guys later. Thanks. Thanks.